Good morning. So today we'll actually be going through patching. I uh, this is a request tutorial, seeing as some people might not fully understand patching, so I'm just gonna redo one. I'm actually going to be doing one having to do with the torso and the arm. So I'm going to quickly try to make the arm as well as the torso. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. So I'll just draw the torso first. Label my layers. Okay. Just smooth this up. And concerning with the arm, there's something I'm going to have to do later on. So I'll just do something for now having to do with the socket joint. See, when you have your arm, you want it that you can rotate your arm freely. Because when it comes to the eliminating the lines for the upper arm, where you probably see it around this area, you probably won't have a joint that even though you rotate your arm you won't see the top line up top so it will look like one big character so I'll just make the joint for now so for my ellipse tool I'm going to use this circle not that big but just readjust this think about here is fine Let's copy this circle. All right. Sorry, so I'm just going to be doing one side of it, just so you can get a good understanding. I already copied the linear art. I'm just going to flatten all of this and do some cleanup. Right. So let's give him a nice red shirt. Red shirt. So now I'm going to make another layer drawing called his upper arm. So it's my torso now. This bulge has to do with a shoulder joint. So I'm going to do the upper arm. This is a joint tool, and you notice I have the circular joint right there. So I can start from here. I'll just turn on my light table. Shift and Alt, get a circle from the center, just realign this, and then I'm going to get my contour editor. So I don't really want to join this huge, so I'll be using this option 
show contour editor controls so you can actually resize everything at once so maybe it's a muscular looking guy and then I make one for the lower So go back to my upper arm layer. Control editor again. Resize the control. Okay, this here line. As you from my hand. Another drawing. Hand. So we got a hand, but based on my character's body, this hand has to be flipped. So I'll just do that. Flip and just realign this circle. So now I have this. So I'll convert this to a brush, and I'll just erase it. You can use either cutter line or the eraser tool. Whichever one works easier for you, use that. So I have a hand, I just feel that white. I'll do the same for the low arm after converting that to well to convert this to a brush also. Select convert to brush. This is just the drawing part of it, so I'll get into the actual patching part soon. So we don't want the inner lines. Oh, too much. I guess I can just take off a piece of this. And fill that in. And the same thing for the upper arm. Convert that one to a brush too. Although I somewhat feel that this line isn't as thick, so I'll just adjust it a bit. To 15 like the previous one. Or maybe I should just leave it alone. 
Let's show this guy. 413. Select everything, control A. Go to brush, flatten. Just look at the outlines and I get my cutter tool. So I'm just alternating between erase and cutter tool so you can see the different options you have. And we fill that in. I'll just edit something a bit over here. I'll just move those out a bit. We'll carry it over. And fill this in with white again. So taking off the light table, this is what we have. Right? So this is where we're actually going to start the patching part. I can actually just recolor these red instead. Just so I can show you what I want to get across. And it might depend actually upon what kind of clothing your character is wearing. So right now my character is wearing a red long sleeve. So in the next video I'm just going to go through what the other steps are. And just remember before I close that patching is for covering lines. Don't get confused. It's just for covering lines. Okay? Alright. Take care. God bless.